In activity 3.14, I'll demonstrate how to create reports by using the blank report tool and the report wizard. So starting with our job openings database, let's click on 3B employers table, click on create, click on blank report, and notice that we have a field list box that opens up. If yours doesn't show anything, then there will be a link where you can click on it to show the current tables in the current database. And then using the plus sign, you can expand the field list. So select 3B employers and right click employer name and say add field to view. That's one way to add it. You see you get a column here. Uh, click and drag contact first name, contact last name, and phone number. And then close the field list box, close the navigation pane, and now we can see what a report looks like at, at, the, at the moment. Now, on the design tab of the report layout tool, go to themes and search for equity. These are alphabetical, so if you just hover over them, well, see, cute. There it is, equity. Um, if you hover over them, you'll, you'll see which theme it is. Right click, apply theme only to this object. And now while well, on the design tab, there's a header and footer group. And let's click on date and time. And you can turn off the date, turn it on, turn off the time, or turn it on. Let's include the date and the time. Say OK. And notice it puts it up here in the header. Now let's add a title by going to the header footer group and clicking on title and then last name, first name, 3B, employer, phone, list. Okay. Now select it so that you have the yellow box around it. Go to the home tab. Let's change the font to 14. And notice the extra space here. So I'm going to get the double arrows, double click, and resize that. Now let's fix our headings. So let's click in the employer name and then shift click in phone. Let's make this bold. And if you have another color on there, you can select automatic color. And then let's go over here to text formatting and let's center those headings. Now click any one of the employer name boxes and with click the home tab if you're not there. Select ascending and that orient or orders the report in ascending alphabetical order by employee name. Then uh, notice the layout selector here. If you have something else selected, this is the wrong layout selector, so you'll want to click inside the body of the report and then drag it down and to the right and try and center it between the two margins. Now let's save this report by clicking on File, Save Object As, and notice it's going to save it with a name as report, so we'll say last name, first name. 3B employer list and say OK. Go back to home, look at our navigation, and we see that right here is our report. And now let's close that report. Now, if we double click the report, it comes back and it's completely formatted the way it's supposed to be. And then we'll print it to a PDF file. So we can print preview. Um, we can close this navigation pane. And now run pre preview. Um, we can show two pages. Then we go ahead and print it and send it either to your PDF writer or your XPF, XPS document writer. 
we'll do PDF since that's what I've been mainly requiring in this class. I'm in my documents, the correct name, save it, and that's the end of this activity.